Hey everybody, thanks for checking in. Welcome to 2020. We're saying goodbye to 2019. We're saying hello to 2020. I am excited. I hope that you are excited. I hope that you are, you know, filled with wonder and filled with excitement and filled with uh, a sense of uh, playfulness to as we approach this new year. You know, at Day One Coaching, uh, the big focus that I have is realizing that you don't need to wait for New Year's Day. You don't need to wait for your birthday. You don't need to wait for any of those things. Every day could be your day one. Heck, any minute could be your day one. But especially on this day, when you wake up, you realize you're turning the calendar. It's a brand new year. You got so much going on. You got so much to look forward to. And you set your resolutions, right? And if you're anything like me, I've set the resolutions in the past. And I, whoo, uh, goes down uh, about March, March time frame. Um, and then, you know, they're like, oh, okay, well, wait till next year. No, I don't want you to do that. I want you to focus this year on the habits. I want you to jot down whatever those goals are, jot down whatever those resolutions are, and identify the habits that will lead to succeeding at that goal, that will lead to getting you closer to whatever resolution, whatever goal, whatever target you have. If you don't know, look it up. A great website, www.google.com. Great website for you. Or identifying people who are doing what uh, you want to be doing, or uh, you know, living uh, in a way that's healthier or you know, you know, more exciting, or whatever that is for you, and ask them what they do every day. What do you do every day to get you closer to those goals that's made these habits turn into your daily lifestyle? And, and you know, maybe it's a work effort. Maybe they're doing something at work that you don't do, uh, and, there's, and there's several things that they do. They invest more in their in their time in training. They invest more in their time in education. They read more, they write more, whatever. They reach out to people more. They listen to podcasts more. They, they do something that maybe you're not doing. And so I want to encourage you to identify what those things are. And then be patient with yourself this year. Be patient with yourself. Right? You set, you set the objective. You set your resolution. That's awesome. But make sure you, you know, just add that patience for yourself. Just be, be excited for yourself this year. Be your biggest fan and watch what happens around you. I know I'm excited. I'm excited to share some really cool stuff that I've been finding out the last couple weeks and really putting some things together. I'll be trying out some, some cool new things. I would love to hear from you. Love to get your feedback. Love to hear what you'd like to hear about this year. Maybe there's something you're going through right now, uh, a work issue, a performance issue of some kind, uh, relationships, whatever that is, whatever that is, whatever way that I can help you. I wanna share the stuff that I nerd out on some people like to go bowling on Tuesday nights. I love to nerd out on performance. So take it for what it is, but I'm excited to share it with you. I look forward to engaging with you this year. I look forward to just experiencing some cool things. I'm wishing you nothing but the very best for 2020. And why do I wish you the very best? Because you matter. I appreciate you. I love you. Go get it.